Welcome to Gray on Math. We're asked to solve this problem. We have this uh, unshaded triangle ABC and the shaded triangle ABC and the dimensions for uh, ADC is 8 and 4 and 6 units. And at angle A, there are there is a pair of two congruent angles and we are required to find the area of this uh, blue triangle. Okay, so first thing that we may do is we may draw a line from this point D to that should be perpendicular to this uh, segment so, and another segment from this point C that should be perpendicular to this segment AB. Okay, so let's call the point of intersection as A, B, C, D, and we have here, let's put it here at, as E, and here as F. And we notice that uh, these two triangles are actually similar, so if you have here one angle at this A, the green angle, so let's say this is alpha and alpha and since these two are 90 f at e and f and e so these two corresponding angles should be the complement of alpha and this should be a beta and if we label this segment a e as small letter a and this as b then since you have these two triangles are actually similar because they have the same angles angle 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 congruence i mean similarity so a e a similarity because they have three angles that are congruent so since the hypotenuse of the angle uh, triangle afd is twice of that of triangle ace so the corresponding sides will be twice so for this opposite angle beta, this will be 2a, and this will be the opposite of alpha will be 2b. Okay, so next is we draw from this uh, seg point C to segment DE, and this should be perpendicular to segment FD. In this segment, let's, I mean this point, let's call this G, so CG. So CG is equal to 3A, the sum of these uh, two lengths, 2A and uh, uh, A, so 3A. And this length GD gives us 2B minus B, and that is, um, this is B. Okay, so notice that FB and GC are parallel. So, and if they are parallel, then this uh, segment of BD is the transversal, this segment BD. So, BD. So, if that is a transversal, then these two angles are actually congruent. Let's call this uh, angle theta. And these two angles are 90. This is 90 at E and at G. And these two triangles are actually, uh, uh, they may be proportional because of uh, this. I mean, this, uh, this uh, BFD is similar to this CGD. Okay, so for triangle uh, G, C, D, and uh, triangle B, F, D. So for triangle G, C, D, so the length of the legs are B and 3, A. And since these two triangles are similar, so, okay, so B, for B, F, D, uh, 
this is actually a this becomes two uh, B the total so two B this is two B so two B so since they are similar so if we make a B twice then this A will be six A so the total of this becomes a 6a okay and subtracting a 3a from this uh, I mean these two lengths this f a and a e subtract the two lengths from 6a which is fb then we have here a 3a 3a okay so notice that uh, this uh, length of the legs of this triangle EBC are 3A and B. Same with the triangle uh, GCD, 3A and B. 3A and B. So the third uh, length, which is the hypotenuse, will be also 6. So this length will be 6. Uh, the drawing is that just not drawn to steel. Okay, so now that we have proven that the uh, the length, uh, I mean we have known or proven that the length of CD is equal to uh, uh, BC. So if we get the area of this uh, this white triangle. So, since they have the same base with the blue triangle and they have the same height also, vertical height. So, if we have, if we get the area of this white triangle, then we will get the area of this uh, blue triangle because they have the same base and the same height. So, we can use Heron's formula for the area of this white triangle. Okay, so the area of uh, a b c is equal to the square root of we need to get the semi perimeter which is uh, 8 let's call this s is equal to 8 plus 4 plus 6 divided by 2 s is equal to 12 plus 6 is 18 divided by 2 which is 9 so this will be 9 times 9 minus 8 times 9 minus 4 times 9 minus 6. So this gives us 9 times 1 times 5 times 3. So the perfect square is 9 and inside this, this 15 is not. So A, A, D, C. Sorry, A, B, C. It's equal to 3 square root of 15. And since area of A, B, C is equal to area of A, D, C, then area of A, B, C is equal to if we just substitute this so this gives us 3 square root of 15 square units and that is our answer so thank you for watching until the end of the video please like the video if you like our solution and don't forget to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon so you will be updated for more math videos like this. Thank you. Bye.